a massive storm trapped over the East Coast. From near Wilmington, North Carolina, to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, millions of Americans along the eastern seaboard affected by the wind and record-breaking rain. This is not just any rain. This is going to be the heaviest rainfall we have ever seen. In Charleston, South Carolina, a deluge of water. Roads more accustomed to traffic jams inundated by several feet of water. These two strangers teamed up to help stranded people in their car. We just saw a bunch of people just kind of floating around and decided to help them out. Give them you don't even know each other? You guys just help, helping hands here? Yeah. No, uh, I think we just had the same motive as far as we're stuck here anyways. Might as well help somebody out. Help us here. Often, where there is crisis, there are those willing to lend a hand. This stranded wedding party nearly missed the big day, if not for the last-minute aid of the National Guard. But not everyone was as fortunate. Since Thursday, at least four people were killed in storm-related incidents in North and South Carolina, down trees and power outages posing problems for the first responders. Well, I'm a good citizen. I'm going to obey. I'm going to hole up in my apartment and clean out my dresser. In Brunswick County, North Carolina, the impacts from the low-pressure system, substantial. Up to 500 residents were evacuated in the coastal county. Flood and flash flood watches are expected to last through the weekend. The tough news still for North Carolina and especially South Carolina is the continued rains, which we're going to be keeping track of. The severe weather is expected to persist through Sunday and perhaps beyond, with heavy rains anticipated to cause even more disaster and emergencies.